Welcome back to another online math class with Teacher Ray. Before we start, prepare the following. Your textbook, your pen, and your copybook for your calculations. Ready? Okay, let's start. Please open your book on page 699, lesson 11.6, and the title is Convert Metric Units of Mass. For today's lesson, you are expected to be able to identify the conversion factors of mass and to convert metric units of mass. Please be reminded that multiplication and division are used to convert among different units of mass. Okay, let's start our lesson by unlocking the vocabulary terms that we will be using for this lesson. So the terms are, first is mass, next milligram or mg, gram or g, and kilogram or kg. Our first vocabulary word is mass. It is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. Mass is measured using these instruments. Next, we have milligram. A metric unit of mass less than a gram. And the conversion factor of milligram is 1,000 milligrams equals 1 gram. We also have gram, a metric unit of mass equal to 1,000 milligrams. And our last vocabulary word is kilogram, a metric unit of mass equal to 1,000 grams. So here are our conversion factors for the mass. 1,000 milligrams is equal to 1 gram. And 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. In chemistry class, Rhonda measured 9 and 5 tenths grams of a substance. How many milligrams is this? Solve this problem any way you choose. Okay, let us answer the solvent share. So you can use patterns to help you see a relationship between the units. So first thing that we have to do here is to find the conversion factors that we will use to solve the problem. So our conversion factor is 1,000 milligrams equals 1 gram. 1 milligram is smaller than 1 gram. So I will multiply to convert grams to milligrams. So 9.5 times 1,000 equals 9,500 milligrams. 9,500 milligrams is equal to 9.5 grams. Next question. How many kilograms did Rhonda measure? Write an equation to model your work. So our conversion factor is 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. 1 kilogram is greater than 1 gram. So, I will divide to convert grams to kilograms. 10 grams is equal to blank kilogram. 10 divided by 1,000 is equals to 0 0.01. So, 10 grams is equal to 0 0.01 kg or kilogram or 100 kg. How do you convert metric units of mass? Think about this question during the lesson. The three most commonly used units of mass are the milligram, the gram, and the kilogram. Converting metric units of mass is like converting other metric units. How would you order 1 gram, 
one kilogram and one milligram from least to greatest unit of mass. Select your answer. From least to greatest, the units of mass are one milligram, one gram, and one kilogram. A whistle has a mass of about five grams. How many milligrams is this? Should you expect more than five milligrams or fewer than five milligrams in five grams? Explain how you know. You should expect more than five milligrams in five grams. Milligrams are smaller units than grams, so there should be more of them. To change from a larger unit to a smaller unit, multiply. Find five times ten to the third power. So five grams equals five thousand milligrams. So a whistle has a mass of about five thousand milligrams. How many kilograms is the whistle? To change from a smaller unit to a larger unit, divide. Find five divided by ten to the third power. So five grams equals zero point zero zero five kilogram. So a whistle has a mass of about zero point zero zero five kilogram. Now you know how to convert metric units of mass. Let us review the video about the essential question: How do you convert metric units of mass? So the three most commonly used units of mass are the milligram, gram, and kilogram. To change from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we will multiply. Example, we will convert 5 grams to mg or milligrams. So that's large unit to small unit. Let's multiply. 5 grams or 5 times 1,000 equals 5,000. So 5 grams is equal to 5,000 milligrams. To change from small unit to large unit, we divide. Again, small to large or small to big, divide. Example, 5 grams convert to kilogram. So grams is smaller than kilogram, so we will divide. 5 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.005. So 5 grams is equal to 0 0.005 kilogram. In the picture shown, what is the football player's mass in grams and in milligrams? How can you tell? Okay, turn your book now in page 670. Let us answer, convince me. So in this problem, you are asked to find the mass of the football player in grams and in milligrams. So our given unit, our given mass of the football player is 100 kilograms. Multiply the number of kilograms by 1,000 to find the number of grams. 100 times 1,000 equals 100,000 grams. So in grams, the football player weighs 100,000 grams. Next. Multiply the number of grams by 1,000 to find the number of milligrams. 
100,000 times 1,000 equals 100 million milligrams. So 100 kg is equal to 100,000 grams and equals to 100 million milligrams. Okay, next page. Let's answer the guided practice. Number one, how does the relationship between meters and millimeters help you understand the relationship between grams and milligrams? Millimeter and milligram have the same prefix, milli. There are 1,000 millimeters in one meter and 1,000 milligrams in one gram. Number two, which has the greater mass, one kilogram or 137,000 milligrams? Explain how you made your comparison. Our conversion factor, one kilogram is equal to one million milligrams. So comparing, one million milligrams is greater than 137,000 milligrams. So that means one kilogram is greater than 137,000 milligrams. Next, in three and four, convert each unit of mass. Number three, 9.25 grams to milligrams. Gram to mg, big to small, so we will correct, we will multiply. So 9.25 times 1,000 equals 9,250. So 9.25 grams equals 9,250 milligrams. Next, number four, 190 grams equals to blank kg. So gram to kg, that's small to big, so we will divide. 190 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.19 kg. So 190 g or grams is equal to 0 0.19 kilogram. In 5 and 6, compare. Write greater than, less than, or equal for each circle. Number 7, 7,000 milligrams and 7,000 grams. So what symbol are we going to write? Correct, very good. So that's less than. Next, number six. 10 square kg, or that's 100 kg, and 10 to the power of four, or 10,000 grams. So that's greater than. Very good. All right, now it's your turn to do your independent practice. Please solve and answer independent practice on page 671. All the items on that page. Next, problem solving number 24, 27, and 28 in page 672. And problem solving number 19, 20, and 21 in page 674. So we will check your answers in my next video.